<laughs> G'day everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, Helix update 3.7 is out. There's four new effects for us to have a play around with and I am very, very excited by it because the first one is a feedback. I love the old boss feedbacker and the new uh, booster slash feedbacker from boss was awesome as well as the freak out from Digitech, that sort of stuff. So this is a great addition. Really good addition. <laughs> So, there's a couple of different feedback types. Octave down. That's the uh, sort of feedback that all acoustic guitarists dread. Unison. Octave up. funny when you think about how much time you spend trying to get rid of feedback and then add a feedback into your rig. I, I think it's hilarious. This is an octave and a fifth up. Now, this is the one I really like. That's the one that sounds the most like amp, uh, real life tube amp bloody feedback to me. That one's great. Octave up and a fifth together. This is uh, two octaves up. Gain difference there in the uh, by uh, by adjusting the feedback gain, you can have sort of different mixes of it. Which is pretty awesome. Two octaves up and a third. Oh, it's so good. So much fun to muck around with. Two octaves up and a fifth. Now, it doesn't sound great up high. Whoa, sorry if you had headphones on there. But on the low notes, it sounds awesome. Two octaves and a seventh. This one's really interesting. That's pretty cool. Mid to low. So this one will change halfway through, I think. Yeah, you can hear it change. Beautiful, and then this one will be high to low. You hear it change from the octave up to the octave down. <laughs> so good, makes it sound a little more realistic. A random trigger. So this one will just randomly put in a different um, interval for you. Which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, random onset. Just sort of picks a different one for you every time. Now there is a couple of different, uh, you can have it uh, so that the dry signal doesn't come through at all and it's just feedback. You can also, uh, that's with this one. Uh, you can also select the threshold, so if you play a little bit quieter, you'll get no feedback. If you play really loud, you'll get feedback and those sort of things. There's also tails and that sort of stuff as well, so that's a really good addition. Now, I'm going to get rid of this because it, without, it's very DSP hungry, and with it in the chain, I can't load up the other, the new reverbs for you. <laughs> Now, the other new effect they've got in here is the Nobles, which is totally awesome because I fucking love the Nobles overdrive. Heaps of gain. Or bugger all gain and lots of boost. Um, the Spectrum Knob, of course. Level 
album is pretty self-explanatory. Now, my Nobles has the uh, the um, bass cut switch. So they've modeled that as well, which is super awesome. And in this version, you can also select between 18 volts uh, for a little bit of extra headroom. You can hear it's just a tiny bit cleaner and sparkly with a little bit more top end. All right, that's super awesome. Let's get into these reverbs. The new reverb is called the Dynamic Bloom. All you need to know about this is that it is a reverb that actually comes in slowly after that you have uh, played your note. You can set it to short. You can set it to medium. So you hear it takes a bit longer to actually bloom in or long, which is really long. So you can set your decay all the way up to infinity, which is crazy. Lovely, it's got a bit of reverb in it. It's got some ducking in it as well, which is pretty cool. Then it blooms in the end. Now, the next one is called Now the next one is called non-linear reverb for those of you, uh, some of us call it a gated reverb, that sort of stuff. Uh, this is going to be perfect for all the Phil Collins drummers out there playing in Phil Collins cover, Phil Collins cover bands. So you can see your delay to be really short. Or really long. which is pretty awesome. You can change the shape of it to be linear, non-linear, inverse lock. A few different options there to choose from. Triangle. Awesome. Change the mixer, change the level, change the diffusion. There's also some modulation in here which gets really crazy. I'll turn it all the way up so you can uh, have a listen to it. Yeah. You can hear that swirling in there. <laughs> I would tend to have that off in this situation. Because, uh, you know, linear or gated uh, reverb is sort of an effect all on its own. Well, anyway, there you have it. There's a really quick look at the four new effects uh, for guitar players. There's a new bass uh, preamp as well, but we're not really interested in that now because, you know, fuck bass players. Sorry, Steve. Um, anyway, there you go. I hope that was helpful. If you're looking to update, it does take a little while. Mine took about sort of eight minutes, although it can take up to half an hour, I say, because there are a lot of IRs, which I will go through in a separate video. But these are the four new um, speaker, uh, four new effects. Hope you enjoyed that. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. It all helps us out. A lot. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.